Hey peeps, welcome to Dee's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in on today's video on Dee's Corner. We got so much tea to talk about, it's crazy. But hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell because those three important things is gonna be what brings the tea, okay? And if you leave a comment on my video and if I like it, you're gonna get a shout out. And follow me on Dee's Corner at Twitter and on Instagram. So let's get ready to hop in on these crazy hot topics. Oh, well, yes, we're definitely spilling the tea here. And everything on this channel is definitely either alleged or currently up to date and happening. Y'all, please make sure you check out my last video, especially the whole Ari and Deshae topic. I do have my thoughts on that. Now, Neek and also Carmen had did recently a sit down. And they did a the official sit down with uh, Neek. So Carmen did her version and also Neek did her version on each other's channels, a.k.a. podcasts. So what do you guys think? Do you think, you know, everything that went down between Neek and Carmen, do you guys actually think they really needed to do this publicly? Or do you think everything should be, you know, the real part got, you know, private like they should have like a off the camera type situation understand that they are youtubers content creators they got to pull their you know thoughts and opinions on a lot of things but it's just the point where like certain things like if you really 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 want to be honest about certain things you guys want to tell each other how you feel personally you know you and really really talk it out lash it out i'm pretty sure they already done it but like, if you really want to get, like, real, 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 I think everything don't really need to be on camera. Like, I did not think this was genuine, in my opinion, because, like, I'm the type person, like, once you cross me the wrong way, no matter what, if you can't, you know, talk about me, if you can talk about me good in public, talk about me good in private. Don't be... You know, saying one thing nice and then when you're around a certain group of people is different. You know what I mean? So this is how their podcast went. And watch our part one video. Then this go is part watch two. This. this is part two. We're going to actually get into the truth to drink because I feel like we were talking so much. It was today. drinking. <laughs> we were talking, telling the truth and, and drinking, drinking so much that we yeah. forgot to do the truth or drink. But it's okay because it was so raw and so natural. Yeah, so now we're gonna just ask each other questions, stuff that y'all been wanting to know, and like kind of just get into the nitty gritty. Because y'all want us to know, and we're here to tell y'all what it is yes. and what it ain't. Wait, per. Okay, then we're gonna go back to Queen Aisha for starting her own little podcast. Now, I like the side of Queen, like, even though she was like, yeah. I'm a little nervous, but this is ain't this is not what I'm used to. But I like this side of Queen. So she has a let, let's talk about a podcast. Yes, and I am doing a podcast. And honestly, I feel so weird right now talking in front of the camera. I'm not used to this for a while, but I got my bestie here with me. She's going to make me more comfortable. This is Dami V. The Dami V. Wait. Oh, you know what that is? <laughs> no, Why is Neek's podcast being brought up on this channel? So Neek has a podcast called let's well talk about it so a lot of people are like saying neat kind of you know, like copy queen mm. now when you think about podcasts and everything like a username has to stand out and when i did these corner t like i'm d everybody's in my corner like every username has to stand out so this person says neat does own the phrase let's talk about it queen has a song title let's talk about it true <laughs> that she released almost a year ago. Everybody named Mama say, let's talk about it. You guys talk about DDG and Halle as usual because we love them. Now, DDG and Halle was taking over the internet when the Halloween came around. Y'all, I need to do better with my content posted because... <sighs> Anyways, so they did a, like a poetic justice like Janet Jackson and Tupac. Um remake of their Halloween costumes this year, I literally see a resemblance, like a resemblance of Hallie and Janet. Hallie needs a bio topic. Like, give her that role. Hallie is already a great actress. Like, I'm ready to see Color Purple. Y'all, when Color Purple come out, I love the original Color Purple. I love all the actors that's actors, actress that's in the Color Purple as the new one that's coming out on Christmas Day, but it might be after Christmas when I go see it. 
but y'all, anyways, so there's a video uh, going around. DDG apparently yeah, was caught cheating. That's what he had to say. It's just a little booty slap. It's acting. It's not that serious. Let's grow up. Okay? Stop. Yeah. I also respond to everyone going crazy and saying this. I told y'all what was going to happen. Bleep sad for real. <sighs> I get how he's feeling, but then again, I'm like, DDG, bro, you did that kind of to yourself because that Ruby situation kind of gave the Holly fans a big red flag, like a huge red flag. Like that was just not the best thing to do right here at the moment, especially when it was early on, early like in y'all's relationship. Anyways, now these are the other fans saying, like, uh, why are y'all trying to protect DDG cheating so bad? Everyone take, talking in code, like, so a lot of people are like, why are y'all protecting DDG's image? Which, I mean, if you're a huge DDG fan, you're supposed to. Like, the Beehive protect Beyonce. You're supposed to. DDG squad stand up. Like, we supposed to. But, <laughs> this post says, if Hallie T... If Hallie T, y'all are talking about, it's really just DDG cheating on her. I'm confused as to why the timeline is gagging. We literally known this for ages. Mm. Mm. Wow. They're, like, really going in on Daryl. Like, they're really letting him have the biz. Like, whoa. Like, I'm sad. Like, I'm really sad. Like, can he just, like, get a break? Like... I'm sad. <laughs> like, I'm literally like, y'all really going in on Arrow? Dang. Chloe fans, which is really Hallie fans, made a rumor about DDG cheating. Now, before you start posting tweets, my friend, unknown, know who you which fan base it is. And then DDG cheating as usual, not a major holiday. Whoa. <laughs> They really go eat on DDJ. Oh my gosh. Like, what y'all think about this? Well, Hallie Bailey is definitely, you know, gonna give us something for the girls and for the fan base because she has been with spotted with the legend herself, Missy Elliott. Okay. But, anyways, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys actually think they need to give DDG a break? What you guys think about everything in this video? I gotta go. Happy Sunday. I'll have another video coming up later on. And I gotta go and I'll chat with you soon.